I was taking the dog for a walk and it had been raining and I slipped on a wet curb stone and managed to dislocate and smash my ankle up. It was quite a bad break, so I ended up having to have an operation and pins put in my ankle. I literally couldn't do anything for myself, so I was just in a single bed in the living room and we had to have Christmas around my bed. I hated having to rely on somebody else for every single thing that I had to do. Mobility really is our key to independence. We don't realise the importance of mobility until we don't have it anymore. Mobility stands between us and almost any daily task. And this can be basic tasks like moving around the house independently to prepare a meal or self-care, or more advanced tasks like going to the shops, travelling, visiting friends and family. And when our mobility is impacted, we lose the ability to undertake these tasks at our leisure. We may rely on others for help, and in the most unfortunate cases, are no longer able to do the things we choose. The problems with my mobility is problems with my left leg. I have been walking around, going to shopping, etc. And that has not been a problem before, but now it is a problem. I only walk short distances. I feel old. Being mobile is more than getting from A to B. We all, but especially patients impacted by mobility impairment, want to be able to move more easily, move without pain or limitations in an independent fashion. Mobility really becomes the major driver for quality of life. Three or four years ago, I started developing a really painful lump on my Achilles. It meant necessarily that I couldn't walk very far. I became quite down about that. I really felt like, you know, I was missing out on fresh air, seeing all the wildlife that's around us and the bird life that's around us. And also I felt down because I was missing out on the social side. So I do enjoy the social walks that I do. For doctors, very often mobility has been neglected to some extent. So we need to teach clinicians, people who work as general practitioners, specialists, and really transfer the idea of mobility. It's so vital to the quality of life. It's important to me to be fit and to eat well, keep my body in good shape. Really, really important. I'm just generally out and about a lot. It is important to me to walk, not only to walk, perhaps to meet my friends. I do think about at 75, what my life's gonna be like as I get older, and maybe I'm gonna have less mobility. The global prevalence of mobility loss is ever increasing due to the aging population and chronic diseases. And this is really a major health issue and clinical trials are being conducted all over the world to address this problem. But until we have a validated mobility assessment that is endorsed by clinicians and regulatory bodies alike, we will struggle to unify our efforts to advance mobility improving treatments.